Hello everyone, welcome to Nakusa for another round of high school basketball. We have boys action for you this evening as the papermakers play host to the Black River Fall Tigers in non-conference basketball action. My name is Tom Kirst, joining me tonight behind the camera is Nita Kirst, and it's wonderful to have you along also. As always, we tip our hat to Tom Wilkes and his fine staff at Wisconsin Rapids Community Media for helping us make telecasts of NHL sports possible. Near the midway point of this basketball season, Nakusa and Black River Falls face off looking to gather a little momentum for the coming new year. Both teams have struggled thus far. BRF enters this game two and six on the year. They're one and two in Cooley Conference play. Following a winless campaign a year ago, Nakusa does bring a win into tonight's contest. They are one and nine on the season, 0 and two in South Central Conference play. Basketball coming up, it's the Papermakers and the Tigers here in the Nakusa gym. Okay. <clears throat> Gotta shoot through a couple of heads there. Starting lineups for tonight's ball game. First for Black River Falls, the Tigers. Chase Yeager is a 5'9 junior. Number 13, Nate Becker. Nate Becker, a 5'10 senior, averaging a little over 14 a ball game. Number 20, Jerome Wirtz, a 5'10 senior. 22 is Mike Rue. He is a freshman. And the leading scorer for the Tigers, number 23, Elliot Bird. And now, the starting lineup for you.
Senacusa now leading by two. Three ball from the corner, this missed. Loebner with a breakaway, lays it down. So Jace now with six. And Acusa back up by four. Three ball delivered by freshman Mike Rue. He's got five. The lead is now one for Nakusa. Good ball game tonight here in the Nakusa gym. 
Cooley Conference against the South Central. Mills lost it. A near steal. And Acusa will maintain control of that basketball. Five fifty two to play in the half. Bolvin with the miss. Three ball on the way again. This time by Becker and boy, BRF is starting to knock down some shots. They're back on top at 21-19. Bills inside, missed the shot, drew the foul. Oh, I thought that thing was going to go down. Ethan Bible with the foul. And Akusa continues to clunk him from the line. Over for 6 and a half as a team. Bills with his first point. Nakusa still trails by one. In the lane. Nice move by the freshman Root. He's got seven. And Nakusa trails now by three. 440 to play in the half. Langcor. Not a good decision there. Three ball by Jaeger. Oh! Tough fall to the floor by Rue. We play on, three on one the other way. Bills has it blocked, got it back, missed that shot. And BRF with it again, Jaeger has it. Bird glides to the basket and lays it down. No help that time from Nakusa defenders. Papermakers now down by five. They led by 11 to begin the ball game. Colo fires from the deep corner. Got it. In, out, and back in again. Keegan with 10 points, two threes and a half. Tigers by two. Becker, nice little runner. Well, he's come on too after a slow start. He's got eight points now in the half. 27 23. Nice spin move, but a miss by Bills. Rue. Bird gets it back. He missed it. Bovin pulls that one out. Colo had it go off his knee, but right to Bills. Lancor for three. Becker the other way. He's got a man on, up ahead. That's Rue. Make that. Yeah, there is Mike Rue who lays it down. Good look by Becker. 29-23. 2.15 to play in the half. Bovin with the left hand. That's a tough shot. Kept it alive, but Bird comes up with it. Three ball. Becker. Colo with the carom.
Cruz are not getting back on defense like they did earlier in the ball game. They're a little tired or what? Bovin with the walk. Substitutions for both teams. Minute 45 to play in the half. Freebird picks up Becker. Bird. Nice little 14 footer for Elliot Bird. He's got 11. The lead is now eight, the biggest lead in the ball game for BRF. Again, Nakusa was up by 11. Freebird throws it away. Turnover number seven now for the papermakers with most of those coming in the last five minutes. Both teams have played man-to-man -man defensive, defensively throughout the half. Nice look there. Colo got a piece of the shot by Woods. And now Coach Cowley yelling one shot for his Tigers. 20 seconds to play in a half. Little Wolf is bumped by Bovin. Max's second foul, only the fourth team foul. So it'll be out of bounds now to the Tigers with 13 clicks left on the clock. Nakusa stays man to man in the out of bounds situation. Six seconds. Becker throws up a prayer in and out. And the first half comes to an end. So Nakusa dodges a bullet there. But Black River Falls comes back from the dead, trailing 11 to nothing. They take it to Nakusa the last 10 minutes of the half. Our halftime score to Black River Falls 31 and Nakusa 23. Okay, we're about ready to start the second half. Nakusa will have the basketball. They trail by eight. So they've got some work to do in this second half. First half scoring for the Tigers. Nate Becker had eight. Jerome Wirtz with three. Mike Rue with nine and Elliot Bird with 11. Colo for three. Pulled down by Wirtz. Nakusa, Colo had 10. Bovin six, Loebner six. And Dylan Bills with one. Bird with a miss, Loebner the other way. Jace, Dylan Bills got a good look on the rebound, but ball came off his hand a little funny. So a lot of action here to start the half, no scoring. BRF hit five three balls in that first half. Nakusa with two. Nakusa one out of seven from the line. I tell you, the free throw shooting really hurt Nakusa. When they were up 11 to nothing, they had like five free throws they missed. And of course, we know what happened after that. Tigers came back with a flurry. So Nakusa one out of seven from the line. BRF did not attempt a free throw in that first half. Nakusa with seven turnovers. Bird with a miss. Black River Falls with only three turnovers in the first half. Colo has a good look from 12. Bird with the rebound. Becker picked up by Bovin.
Boy, BRF is not a big team with, at all. They got Bird listed at 6'2". It's pretty hard to believe he's 6'2". Maybe six foot. Loebner's listed 5'11", and you put Loebner and Bird together, and Loebner might be a tad taller. Loebner is bumped by Rue. Mike Rue with his first. Little backdoor cut by Loebner. And before the shot, he is fouled. That basket will not count. As Rue picks up his second. Langcor catches inside, kicks it back outside to Colo, who had the shot. But put it on the floor instead. Loebner inside, missed that one. So Nakusa can't buy a hoop. Of course, BRF scoreless also in the first three minutes of this half. Colo with a foul on Jaeger. And Chase Jaeger is going to go to the line to shoot two. Keegan's first personal foul. 5'9 junior Chase Jaeger hits the first. Colo out, Freeburg in for Nakusa. Ten point lead now for BRF. Token pressure by the Tigers. Loebner, I guess that was short. I thought that was gonna go down. Just barely scraped the bottom of the net, I guess. Becker tried to get pass inside to Wirtz, knocked away by Bills. Three ball on the way, missed by Wirtz. Bowman with a rebound. Langcor missed the good, uh, easy one. Kicks it back out though to Freeberg who misses the three. And Akusa still scoreless here in the second half. Becker for three, that's an air ball. <laughs> Weather's getting colder outside. It's supposed to ice up tonight. And I think it's a little icy in the gym right now too. We've had two points scored in the first five minutes. Make that four minutes here in the second half. Those two points on a free, free throws by Jaeger. Still looking for a field goal. Or an extra point. Colo missed that one. Tipped out nicely by Merritt. Freeberg tried to go back inside to Merritt. And Wirtz picks up his third foul, I believe. Nope, this is first, excuse me. Third team foul here in the half on the Tigers. DJ Scott and Gavin Littlewolf check in for BRF. Colo catches it deep and has it tipped out of bounds by Scott. Nice play by Bird. 
lays it down. His first bucket here in the second half. Of course, the first field goal here in the second half. He's got 13 now for the game. And it's a 12-point BRF lead. Freebird sails that one out of bounds. And Coach Genrick's going to take a timeout. 13-21 to play. 35-23, Black River Falls. Sonacusa's talked it over. Hopefully they can find some offense now. As this one's starting to slide away. Eight point lead at halftime. 12 points leading right now for BRF. Ball goes through the hands of Mike Rue. Really haven't been too many turnovers in this ball game tonight. Nakusa with seven in the first half and one here in the second. BRF with four overall. It's been a half court game for the most part. Very few fouls. Coos has been deliberate offensively. Had some pretty good looks at the basket, but just can't get it to go down. That's a tough shot there by Colo, but he nails it. Keegan now with 12, and lead back to 10. Bird takes it all the way to the rim, missed the shot. Little Wolf missed the rebound. Three on two, four on two. Colo from 12. So Keegan waking up the offense a little bit. Nakusa now down by eight again at 35, 27. Colo, excuse me, Loebner with a steal, but a good play by Bird on the other end. Scott is called for the travel. The Cusa boys in action again next Friday night, January 4th. They'll be here at home taking on the always tough Wisconsin Dells Chiefs. So come on out and catch the papermakers against defending champion, South Central Conference champion, Wisconsin Dells. Little give and go tapped away nicely by Bible. Woods takes it up and draws the foul, and I believe it's going to go on Bovin. Nope. Colo. Tyler Woods, a 6'2 sophomore, steps in the line. He'll get two attempts. Woods looking for his first point on the night. <laughs> Bolvin with a rebound. Before the shot, 
is fouled by Tyler Woods. Now they're going to give him two shots. Woods with his first foul. Dylan Bills in and out with the first. He's one out of three from the line tonight. Nakusa now one out of eight as a team. One for nine. Freeberg with the rebound. He'll fire the three. Bills with the long rebound. So Nakusa getting their chances here, huh? Lancor. Ooh, Nakusa catches a break there. That pass was sailing out of bounds. Tyler Woods got a hand on it. So Nakusa will keep it. Ten minutes to play. Nakusa down by eight. Got to find the hot hand. Lancor short on that shot. Bible with the rebound. Bird pulls it out. Bird hit the shot. They will count the shot. Surprised by that one, too. I thought the foul was well before the shot attempt, but the official counts the basket. Foul goes on. Dylan Bills, that's his third. So Elliot Bird with a chance to complete that three-point play. Bird has 15 points on the night. Again, he's averaging about, what was that, 24? 21 a game. A little over 21 a game. He's on track to maintain that pace tonight. 11-point game now. Bird tips that out of bounds. Aaron Merritt. Well, you haven't seen that from Nakusa much tonight. Ball going into the post and a shot being delivered from the post. Maybe that's the key to success here in the remainder of the game. Take it inside against this shorter BRF team. Wide open is Dobson for three. That rattles out. Try to get the ball inside to Merritt again. That one taken away. Rue with a miss. Three on two the other way. Loebner lays it down. No, that comes out. Boy, Nakusa, great chance there. And the ball is out of bounds as it went on the top of the backboard. Still a nine-point ball game. Still plenty of time to play, 7.36. But Nakusa, again, just needs to have to find some offense. They have six points here in the first 11 minutes of the half. 
Full timeout on the court. 7.36 to play, 38-29, BRF. Senacusa, down by nine. They have the basketball. Hey, that's only three, three balls, right? Well, we can make that up in three trips. Over and back. Bovin with a pick. Freeberg. Now Merritt loses the basketball. Boy, two unforced errors. Last two trips. And Bird makes him pay. No, he missed the shot. Three on one the other way. Loebner missed it. And on the rebound attempt, Merritt was fouled, I believe. Nate Becker picked up the foul. Merritt shoots two. Bills gets the foul. Dylan's fourth, I believe. Nope, it's his third. 38-29 our score. Nakusa now with a little full court pressure. It's his own look. They missed one. <laughs> Jeff Dobson with an easy lay and good pass by Elliot Bird. 40 to 29. Near steal there. Merritt inside. Drew the foul. So good things happening. Nakusa goes inside to Merritt. Nakusa Jr. will shoot two. Dobson got the foul. They are now one out of three from the line. Nakusa one out of five here in the second half. They are two out of 12 for the game. And they trail by 10. Got the rule on that one. Again, the pressure and a steal. And they gave it right back. Ouch. Mike Rue lays it down. Nakusa gives it away again. Bird takes it up, missed the shot. And Freeberg comes away with it. One on three is Colo. Freeberg couldn't get it up on the rim. Bird the other way. Becker lays it down. Again, a nice feed by Bird. Becker is 10 for the game. 44 31, 5 30 to play. Merritt inside. Oh, missed the shot. Back to the line is Aaron Merritt. Nakusa does have some size. Keegan Colo, 6'4. Max Bolvin stands 6'3, but plays a bit bigger than that. And of course, Merritt at 6'4. The only uh, post, play that we've post play we've really seen tonight is from Merritt. It was struggling from the line.
Two out of eight is Aaron tonight. Loebner with the rebound. And Akusa again turns it over. Akusa's going to take a timeout. 517 to play, 44-31, Black River Falls. So again, Akusa still has a shot. They're down by 13. But they got to get something going here. They've been outscored 13-8 here in the second half, a low-scoring half. Good double team. Now the foul by Bovin. Nakusa's fifth team foul. And for Max, that is number three. Jaeger puts it in play. Bird wide open, doesn't take the three. And a travel committed by Gavin Littlewolf. Down by 13, got to make every possession count now. Go inside to Bovin, but Max quite a ways from the hoop. Almost snapped that shot to fall. Nice play by Loebner. Again, Jace cannot finish it though. He's had several opportunities like that tonight. Four oh four to play as ball goes out of bounds to BRL. Nakosa with a little zone look now, trying to trap the basketball in the half court. One three one look. Becker lays it down. Handled nicely that time by the Tigers. Again, Nakusa swings the ball around the perimeter. Bills with a wild shot there, but he put it down. I'm not sure how Dylan found the rim that time, but he did. Again, Nakusa loses a man on the other end, and Little Wolf gets his first basket of the night. 48-33. Loebner had it blocked by Wirtz. 2.50 to play. Becker blocked by Bovin, but a foul. Nate Becker shoots two. 13 for Becker tonight. 16 point is the BRF lead. Adam Weissunder, number 12, checks in the ball game now for Black River Falls, Adam a senior. Loebner missed that one. 
Well, again, Jace, nice job of getting to the rim. Just got to finish the deal now. Bird missed the shot. Loebner up ahead, missed that one. All Jace needed there was a, uh, put the ball on the floor, position himself, and lay it in. Try to do it all on the run. Bird has it tapped out of bounds. Minute 39 to play. Loebner out, Freeburg in now for Nakusa. Lankor with a near steal. <clears throat> Offensive foul call, I believe, on the screen. <clears throat> Excuse me, number 20, Wurtz gets it. Santa Cusa gets it back with a minute 17 to play. Papermakers with only 10 points here in the second half. Colo with a miss. DJ Scott got uh, hit in the mouth. Accidentally, of course, but I guess he's okay now. He has the basketball now. And the ball thrown away. So Scott ran into uh, Bovin. Started that possession. And I think uh, one of the referees checking him out right now. Smile on his face, I guess he's fine. Forty-five seconds to play. Freeburg with the basketball. Colo takes a tough shot. Bolvin. Tougher yet. 25 seconds to play. Foul called on it near, near middle court. I believe it goes on Bills. Bonus free throw. Adam Weissender, I believe, will be the shooter. Senior with his first point tonight. And we get a lane violation. Bills. Not much chance of that one going down. Clock's going to run down, and this ball game is finally over. 
Black River Falls comes to town and they hand Nakusa their 10th loss on the air. Our final tonight, Black River Falls 51, Nakusa 33. With a win, the Tigers now three and six on the air. Of course, they are 0-2 in the Cooley Conference. Nakusa falls to one and 10, and they remained at 0-2 in the South Central Conference. Scoring rundown for the Tigers. Jeff Dobson had two points. Chase Yeager with two. Nate Becker with 14. Gavin Littlewolf with two. Jerome Wurtz with three. Mike Rue with 11. And Elliot Bird put down 16 for the Tigers. For Nakusa, Keegan Colo led all scores with 14 points. Max Vo Boven had six. Jace Langcor with six. Aaron Merritt had four. Dylan Bills with three. Nakusa jumped off to 11 to nothing lead in this ball game, but BRF fought their way back. Take a lead about halfway through that first quarter. They led 31-23 at the end of the first half. They outscored Nakusa 20 to 10 in the second half. Our final 51-33 BRF. Nakusa back in action here in the Nakusa gym next Friday night. They will take on Wisconsin Dells. It's the 4th of January. We will be here for that ball game. It will be on public access next week. And remember, the Coosa ball games every weekend on public access, 6 o'clock Saturday night, 8 o'clock Monday night. And, of course, you can catch Nakusa basketball at any time on YouTube via the Wisconsin Rapids Community Media page. For Nita Kirst, my name is Tom Kirst. I want to thank you for joining us, and I sure hope to see you again next time for Nakusa Sports.